Welcome back, everyone. This is an upcoming test that I have. This is your last call. If there's any others you want to see, Shine Armor Fortify Quick Coat, the original. That's another one I'm going to include in this. You can see the three that are in the back there. Those are actually knockoffs of the original. So one of them, believe it or not, is a knockoff of a knockoff. But there are a lot of similarities you'll find in this test between packaging, between bottles. There are a few very large manufacturers in China that make the majority of these. So you, you'll find that when I start digging into this test, as far as the research side of things, there's going to be a whole lot of similarities. And there's a reason. You've seen in some of my other tests, some of these products that have been tested, they behave almost identically. And there's a reason for that, which I'm not going to get into in this video, but I will later. So I have room in this upcoming test for 30 products. You have 26 seen here, plus Shine Armor Fortify Quick Coat, so 27. So I have room for three more. So if you have something that you don't see here that you want me to include, then I will try my best to get it. I have some others that I ordered from Alibaba and AliExpress that they substituted, and then I ended up getting two of each. And that happened in a couple instances. So because of that, I have room for more, but I originally ordered 30 and I ended up now with 26 plus the one I'm, I still have to get. Uh, others like Kisho, Kisho 811 has been in some of my older tests. It's a Japanese coating, but here it is. It says clearly made in China on the label. I don't know if they move production or if it's a knockoff or what the deal is, but I got it from AliExpress, but you can see some of my duplicates there. And Avalon King is included as it is a Chinese coating, and I will dig into that product much, much more later. Some pretty interesting stuff. This, this product here, car coating, it was sent to me by the manufacturer, and they actually, they had reached out to me via email on my YouTube channel and asked if I could review it. And I'm not gonna review anything other than I'm gonna test everything. So if, you, if you've seen my channel long enough, you know that that's kind of how things are going to happen. I may, I may showcase a product just to show you, you know, something new that came out. Here's one that says made for USA, but then it has a made in China sticker. So if you weren't looking closely, you'd think that's a made in USA product, but it is made in China. So this will be a pretty interesting test. We, we know that there are some products in here that have shown to last. Nano Age, Nano Bond. I actually have both of them, even though it's essentially the same product. I have both of them that are that will be in this test. If you follow some of my older tests, they'll last two plus years, if not longer, outside in the elements. With I mean, it's 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 pretty impressive for a twenty or thirty dollar product. So these are a combination of AliExpress, Alibaba, Amazon, eBay and some other areas, some other companies, but the majority of them came from AliExpress. So you have Mr. Fix 9H, Mr. Fix 10H, Mr. Diamond, which is, that's their one year version of the three year coating, allegedly. And there's just, there's all kinds of coatings here that I've never heard of. Some of them, the directions are entirely in Chinese and Mandarin, so I don't, I don't understand it. I had to use Google Translate in order to see all that. So again, similarities here. This is auto K can. I don't know if it's meant to say auto can, but same exact packaging as Avalon King, same exact bottle, same looking bottle. They even smell the same. One is 70 to a hundred dollars. One is $8. And there's another one with similar packaging there, Hokasi. We'll get into those later, but you can see that, just look at the lids on some of them too. Similar bottles. They, uh, there, there's really a whole lot of similarities. If you follow one of my old tests there, Ilho Graphene, that one was like $1. sixty shipped from China. And it literally smells like soap and water. We already know based on current testing that it's gonna last about a week. 
So hopefully some of these others will be some surprises for us as far as how well they hold up. So again, if you have any others you wanna see, this is your chance. I always put these kind of videos out before I start a test. I'm still a little ways away because I have to go through and research everything before I actually go, go uh, forward with the test. So we're getting there. I'm shooting for probably July to start this test. So let me know in the comments, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Oh yeah, organic vapor acid gas cartridges because I have no idea what's in these. Can't find any SDSs. I'm going to make sure I'm safe. Thanks, guys.